Hi friend. You know, something we haven't done on the channel yet is making our pedal enclosures look more presentable. Sometimes I don't bother with my own. This is my rat clone. I just wrote rat right on the front with a marker. It's a booster. I did do a couple that were decent. This is my harmonic percolator. Turned out kind of nice. It's, it's a little cheap looking. <laughs> But I like it, and I've used it on my pedal board. This is my Klon clone. It turned out nice too. It's, you could see where the mistakes are. One thing I haven't done yet is polishing the enclosures. So we're gonna take this, it's a 1590G. I don't really use them very often, so this is gonna be a test. Uh, we're gonna polish this today and see how it turns out. If that sounds good, join me. Okay, I am in my basement in the old workshop. And what I have is this good old Harbor Freight. It's a Chicago Electric Power Tools. It's an orbital sander. Basically, what we're going to do is sand this until it is smooth because you could feel the imperfections on a plain enclosure like this. So we're gonna sand, we're just gonna do the top today. We're gonna leave the sides for comparison. We're gonna start with 100 grit sandpaper. We're just gonna dig into it a little bit. This is gonna get loud. You see the difference from how it was to how it is now. You can see how it rolls over the edges a little bit. So we're not going to worry about that right now because we're going to go finer with the sandpaper now. We're going to move to a 220. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because we have to get these swirls out. Uh, it'll make newer, lighter swirls, but we'll work on them uh, with finer and finer sandpaper. Still have to work on these edges a little better. Feel how it's getting smoother. It does warm up a little bit. Now we're going to start working by hand. So I'm going to grab a sheet of 400 and I'm just going to fold it and just hand rub this. You could tell the difference from how it was to 
how it is now. It has a nice, nice sheen to it, but it still has those sanding marks in it. Um, I don't have any 800, but that's probably where we should go next. So we're just going to skip right to 1,000. This is going to take a while because we didn't have the intermediate 800. You see how it gets on your fingers? That's aluminum dust. Make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to go across this way as well. Make sure I get all those sanding marks out. This sandpaper you could also use with wet sanding. You just soak the paper in water and it helps it not to clog, it seems. Honestly, that's nice how that looks. It doesn't have a perfectly mere finish or anything like that. You see that? But it's getting nicer and nicer. If you have a perfectly flat desk, which I do not, I have solder balls stuck to it and everything from soldering on it. Um, you could lay this out and then you rub the enclosure on that. That way it has a flat surface. But doing this by hand with such fine sandpaper seems to work very well. how it used to be there and how it is now. Got my fingerprints on it. It shows fingerprints now, doesn't it? I imagine if I was going to do this all the time, I'd get one of those polishing wheels that go on uh, a bench grinder. All right, we're going to move up to 1500. And I think this is going to be the final sanding step. I'm not sure I even have anything finer than 1500. It's looking pretty good. Seems to cloud it a bit, huh? Very, very fine 1500 sandpaper. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right. Now I think we're going to take our orbital sander and let's see, have this rubbing compound. And it comes with a pad like this. You can see I used it before, probably on a car. But what we're going to do is, well, I'm not going to use that side. Get some on here. And here's something I discovered by accident. These orbital sanders hold those very nicely. Let's put some rubbing compound on it. should get the swirls out. Oh, I marked it up with my finger. That looks pretty good. And you're not supposed to mix these up, so this is supposed to go in here with this, but 
we're just going to leave it on top. And I have one more for polishing compound. So we're going to try that next. I should get a nice shiny sheen to it maybe. And we're going to use our orbital sander again. I like how it just sticks right to that. I discovered that by accident. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Looks pretty good. I think I'm going to go over it one more shot with both the rubbing compound and the polishing compound. And we'll see if we're happy with the results. Here, can you see that? I washed it off and it left a few watermarks. So I think maybe going over it one more time will be the, a good plan. Here's the rubbing compound. And one more shot with the polishing compound. Let's see. Too shabby, huh? Compared to the side, how it was, and then there we go. All right, well, here is what it originally looked like that's a plain enclosure, and here's how it turned out. could be a little bit better with the scratch marks uh, I think I could do better if I had some 2000 grit or even finer um, I might pick some up but I'm actually happy with how this turned out it's nice and reflective it looks clean and it would be nice to uh, print on uh, you can take a laser printer and print backwards and then put it on here and iron it and the uh, marks will come out on here the uh, I'm sorry the toner will come out onto the enclosure hey I hope you have a great day thanks for stopping by